Okay, so when you're setting your intentions and you're setting your desires, one thing that people get so tripped up over is, you know, knowing when to set the goal, take the action, know how many, you know, what step need to be, you know, taken in order to make that goal happen. But here's the thing. We are co-creating with God, with the universe. And when we learn to co-create in a way where we are mastering and harnessing our own uh, power and our own energy and our own mind, it becomes this effortless flow. It becomes this effortless uh, dance with the universe in terms of calling in, receiving our goals, receiving our desires. So one thing that um, you can do today is get very clear on what that intention is. Get very clear on what the desire is. Maybe it's a new uh, relationship. Maybe it is more clients in your business. Maybe it's a career that you are desiring to have. Whatever it is, whether it's big or it's small, get really, really clear on what that is. And then visualize what that looks like. Visualize it in detail, right to the last detail. Feel it. See, see it. And once you can get so clear on that, and sometimes you're not going to get it right the first time, right? And that's okay. Sometimes these desires to actually see it, to actually visualize it, to actually feel it takes a few days. It takes a few different tries to actually sit down and visualize it. But this is so, so important because everything is energy. Everything that moves, everything around us is energy. It's proven by quantum physics that everything is energy. And so when we visualize our desires, when we visualize our goals, we are now able to tap into the energy of how it feels having that goal, having that desire. And the next piece is to feel that, to match our our current energy to the energy of having already received our goal, having already received that desire. And then comes the next piece and this piece is where so many people get tripped up over and that is the piece of allowing surrendering and just allowing it to happen you see so many times people get so tripped up over okay this is the goal okay let's break it down into the action steps what do i need to do to make it happen what do i gotta what do i have to like do what do i have to say and people get so so focused on controlling the outcome, controlling exactly how it's going to happen and what it's going to look like when that isn't your job at all. So the piece of surrendering to that outcome, surrendering to it fully is what is going to allow you to open that door to receiving. Oftentimes we are blocking our own desires. We are blocking our own goals because we are trying to control too much. And when we try to control, it leaves no room for God to co-create. It leaves no room for the universe to co-create with you. So you really have to train yourself to surrender to that outcome, to surrender to that process. And your only job, your only job, is to prepare to receiving that that goal, to receiving that desire, okay? So let me give you an example. If you are, um, if you're desiring to bring in five new clients, we'll say, okay? You're desiring to bring five new beautiful clients into your business. Okay, great. Visualize that, feel it, see it. Match the energy to that surrender to the outcome to surrender to the process but but as we co-create with the universe it is our job to take action we can't just sit and visualize all day long right we have to take action and so what i mean by preparation is you need to prepare if the if you had five people who came to you today and said i want to i want to sign up for your services i am ready i'm able to pay how do i sign up are you prepared to onboard those five clients today? 
Are you prepared energetically? Are you prepared emotionally? Are you prepared financially? Like, do you have all the things in place to onboard those five clients today? Are you ready to serve those five clients today? If the answer is no, then you need to start preparing, my friend. Start looking at the ways that you need to be ready to receive those clients. Are your systems in place? Is your bank account set up and ready to receive those clients? You know, are you, do you have time in, 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 in space in your calendar to serve those clients? Are you taking care of yourself to getting up and being able to give that energy to those clients? So I want you to think about all the ways that you can begin preparing for those clients. And that's what I mean by preparing to receiving your desire, preparing to receiving those goals that you are putting out and in, in setting. And then the next piece of that comes into place when it's all about um, giving gratitude. Okay, so here's the other piece. It's like when we are just in general, it's, it's giving gratitude for what we already have. Okay, and a coach of mine gave me this beautiful example and I, and I absolutely love it is, you know, think of, think of the, um, the universe giving, um, giving things to you. Okay. If you have two children, okay, you have two children, you have child A who is very selfish and greedy and rarely gives gratitude and appreciation for what they have. And then you have child B who is so grateful and so full of love and so full of appreciation. Okay. And the universe comes in and says, okay, I, I made these beautiful, delicious cookies and gives child A the cookies, gives child B the cookies. Um, and child A says, these are horrible cookies. These are disgusting. I don't like these cookies. I don't, I, this isn't what I asked for this. I don't like them. And then child B says, oh my goodness, these are perfect. I love these cookies. They're amazing. They're so delicious. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Which child do you think the universe is more likely to give more cookies to? Do you get it? And so you have to treat, you have to treat life in a way where you are grateful, you are, you are appreciative for everything around you, for everyone around you. And when you give gratitude every day, all day, throughout the day, the universe wants to rush in and bless you with more, right? Um, and a lot of this uh, has to do with the law of attraction. You know, the law of attraction is like attracts like. What you give out is what you receive. If you are giving out negativity and hate, you are going to receive that. If you are giving out gratitude and love, you are going to receive more of that. And so it's the same with your desires. When you're putting out your desires, when you're calling in your goals, you have to give gratitude for where you're at. You have to give gratitude for what is on its way and give love. This is such an important piece. I promise you, you will see magnificent results in your life if you begin gra giving gratitude all day throughout the day, every single day, starting today. Watch your life transform. And then the final piece, the final piece to all of this is letting go and setting it and forgetting it, moving on and, and living your life. I don't want to say completely moving on, but <laughs> you get my drift. Like, enjoy life, be present in the moment, and love life. Be a child, be creative, get get imaginative, be playful. You know, you can't you can't take your desires and your goals so serious that that is all you think about, that that is all you're hung up on. Because again, you're going to block your inability to receive. You're going to you're going to block your ability to receive. And so when you visualize that desire, that goal, and you see it and you feel it so, so um, strongly and powerfully, you are matching your, your energy to that. You are feeling the vibration of that. And so you are calling that into your existence. You're calling that in through the law of attraction. And when you give love and you give gratitude every day throughout the day, you are asking for more of that. You are calling more of that into you which speeds up the process of 
of obtaining your desires. It speeds up your manifestations. And then finally, just getting on with your life and loving life and being present and being a child and being playful. That, my friend, is going to open you up and match that energy even faster for you. So, sending your desires, calling in your goals does not have to be difficult. It doesn't have to be difficult at all. It's just, it's so simple and yet it just requires us to be mindful. It requires us to be playful. It requires us to be creative and it requires us to be very, um, to, to master our mind. We have to master our mindset, right? You have to only focus on the positivity, focus on the outcome, the desired outcome. And any time that you feel your mind is going into a negative uh, downward spiral, you need to check it and you need to check it so quick and bring it back and bring it back and focus only on the positives. I hope that helps my friends. I'm sending you so much love and I'll see you next time.